Hi, welcome to Ergo Everything. Um, today's topic is something that kind of makes me a little bit sad. It's it's information that if I had had years ago, I think could have saved me from the terrible RSI pain that I have now. Um, also forgive kind of the janky setup. I accidentally overextended my my wrist recently, and so I'm not going to be making the content I wanted to make. Um, instead, I, I do think we're going to cover something very compelling. Um, we're going to do a video review of um, a woman who is coding by voice, but more importantly, she is using um, eye tracking software um, in order to control the mouse. And it's eye tracking software I've actually tried, and I think it's incredibly accurate. And so I think seeing the power of that is going to be really important. Um, however, it's also something that just like really touches home. Oh, so, so I've, I've set everything up so that I just have to record one video and I don't have to like try to combine multiple videos um, because that's kind of how I got into trouble is I was trying to like record and edit like three videos in one day. And I was just like really excited. So um, this is my break from that. And um, I'm hoping I won't shed any tears. I started watching this video and then I thought, let's make a reaction video. Um, so this creator is called, I don't have my normal mouse with me. Let's see, the programming, the programming piglet. And I think that is super adorable. I also love that we're hearing from a woman and um like not even that long ago like a year ago or maybe two years ago i was trying to get into programming myself and i had this wrist pain that um already existed but got flared up because i was trying to learn how to program and i was so insistent i was like i'm going to <laughs> learn how to program by voice but i feel like there were just like there was just like no information so the fact that we, I was just looking and, and searching through the web and there's so many videos on programming by voice and by women. Um, anyways, let's, let's get into it. Um, I'm going to hit refresh here to make sure we start at the beginning. I have a problem. I'll save you the suspense. It's RSI. That's repetitive strain injury, and for me that means I can cope with the amount of typing I do on a regular workday, but if I do any more than that, then the backs of my hands become really numb and painful, and I can't type anymore, and I can't do normal daily things like cooking or just picking things up, like I can't do any of that. My hands are out of action for between one and two weeks, and it... First of all, this pig um, and the little animations so cute i just i just love it i absolutely understand what it's like i understand everything like yes the back of my hands will hurt if i overextend myself um they're out of commission for a couple weeks that's where i'm at and she was saying you can't cook that is a big one uh cooking and driving like once you get to the point where you can't do those comfortably that's like a big red flag and then you suddenly realize like how serious her problem is um let's keep hearing her out it's really difficult and it's quite scary because i really love programming and i love doing projects in my spare time but i haven't been able to do that for a really long time but i found a solution i learned to the pain really can affect your free time um when you get to the point where you're afraid to use your hands for anything, you really can't do anything except consume media. Um, you can watch videos, you can listen to podcasts, you can maybe go walking, and that's about it. And that's hard. The code by voice. It's a game changer, and I'm so thankful that I came across this. So what I use is a software called Talent Voice, and it's free and they have an amazing Slack community that will help you if you ever get stuck on anything. Um, and one of the people in the Slack community have made like a starter file thing. So when you download Talon, if you download his set of files, then straight away you can control your computer and you can use phrases like copy that, paste that, 
open this, focus Chrome, search. But what's also great about Talent is it's customizable. So say you're a person who sends emails every day and you always end your email by going kind regards, comma, your name, your job title, your number, blah, blah, whatever. Um, you could set a custom command where you might say something like end email and it will just type out all of that stuff for you. Um, and your custom commands can be as complex as you want. Like it doesn't just need to be text-based, like it can open applications, send things, do do really complex stuff. Like it's quite amazing. I'm, I'm still a beginner. I'm still learning how to use it. So I've not gone too much into the complex. That is one thing that's really hard about voice recognition software is that there's such a steep learning curve. Um, honestly, I'm out of practice with Dragon, which is what I own. And um, <laughs> it sucks. Stuff, but I'm quite excited to learn it all because it looks it looks incredible. Another cool thing I use is uh, Toby Eye Tracker. It, this is optional. Like you can use Talon Voice just by using your voice. But a lot of people also use an eye tracker. So you have this little eye tracker thingy that you put at the bottom of your screen. Um, so I just want to show you what that looks like, and. Um also the price so this is the little bar it goes at the bottom of your screen like she was saying and then um there is a lot of software out there there's even free software called um like one is smile mouse and um it basically picks a spot on your face like the corner of your eye or you can like put a sticker on your head or whatever and it tracks the movement of of your head right this is the only thing that's out there, uh, it, that I know of at least, that tracks your actual eye movement. And it does that by using, you know, the whites of your eyes versus your iris. Um, it is 230 bucks. it looks like. Um, I tried this and then I ended up returning it. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. And when you turn that on and connect it to Talon, your mouse just follows your eye movement. So anyway, as I said, I'm, I'm quite new to all of this. And so when I got the eye tracker, the Toby IX thing, I, um, I was kind of in like a desperate place and I got it and I just thought it was supposed to work on its own. I didn't know that you had to link it up to Talon. Um, and so I just felt like it didn't work at all um and i was basically like right at that place where i was like either this is going to work or i am going to quit my job which is what ended up happening um so this is why it's so fucking sad i hate this and i've not been using it for very long maybe uh so one downside to using this potential mouse combination is that um talon is voice recognition software so it's possible you would need to get a fancy microphone for that um, if you were, yeah. With my eyes, so I will do that now. If I can remember the phrase, control mouse. Okay, yeah, I got it, <laughs> it's fine. Okay. It's a little bit jerky, but in just a minute, you're gonna see how accurate she can be with that eye tracker. So if I make a weird popping sound during the video, that's how you click on things. So like, it's pretty cool. So you don't have to. That is so cool. That is so cool. And even the fact that it's a pop and it's not a word, um, I've actually found with voice recognition software, it can be hard on your voice. So the fact that you can click with a pop is and and you don't have to use any sort of mouse just your eyes absolutely crazy let's touch your trackpad or mouse at all clear line word terminal enter so i'm probably going to cut plex, this part pit, out odd space sit near sit trap um, so a lot of um, voice recognition software that's designed for programming specifically, you have to learn a lot of special words that are, aren't real words in order to program. 
uh, which is really interesting. It seems like a really big learning curve, but all of uh, voice recognition is. Space. Tamil, my project using just my voice. Enter. The only thing I recognized is she said camel and then the, the name of her project. Uh, so camel just stands for camel case, which means all the, there's no spaces, but every word is, the front is capitalized. Okay, so she's going to do something cool here, which is dragging with the mouse, and it looks super easy and intuitive. Okay, so here we have a simulated iPhone, and now I will run the app so we can see what we've got. Drag. Drag. I don't know, I guess, because I'm not her, but that looks so easy to use. Hey, editing Malin here. Um, Rewatching that clip, I realized, man, that doesn't look very easy, does it? Um, and I did some reading, and it looks like it really is very difficult to get precise control with the eye gaze. And um, it brought up a memory of some stuff I read on the Toby IX website itself where they talk about how when you're looking at one spot and from your perspective, your eyes are perfectly still, you're just looking at this one thing, um, your eyes actually jitter. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. They kind of like bounce around a little bit. Um, and so it's, it's, that's why her mouse looked all jittery. And I did some reading and people have reported a little bit of like eye strain and that it is hard to use. But I actually think I found the solution. Um, so there's this, uh, another person who has RSI, they were a programmer, they created this software that's free. It's called Precision Gaze Mouse. You can find it at precisiongazemouse.org. And they made basically this really cool software that allows you to um, combine the power of eye gaze with head tracking. So I described head tracking in this video earlier. Um, and with head tracking, it's really easy to get very precise movement, but it's really hard to get anywhere. Like when you're trying to get to the edge of the screen, you're just like, okay, okay, are you there yet? Are you there yet? Are you there yet? You know, and it's just ridiculous. But if all you needed to do is control like the center of your screen, you could do that really easily. So I feel like with both of these controls, so the eye tracking gets you where you need to go. Um, and then the face tracking uh, hones in on the small movements. And with this solution, you wouldn't need a microphone. So it'd actually be even cheaper because you can use free eye tracking software. Um, uh, this Precision Gaze mouse, it's compatible with Enable Viacom, which I've used before. It's, it's good and it's free. Um, so you could only have to pay for the eye tracking, and I think it would work a lot better. Um, let me show you the creator's demo, which is the only demo I could find. No one else has reviewed this. I'm going to turn on the gaze tracker mode. This is tracking my gaze position using a little gray dot that you see jumping around. It's a little jittery, so I don't want to use that gaze for my mouse pointer directly. Instead, I put a circle around it. That's that gray circle. And whenever the gray dot or my gaze travels outside that circle, it jumps to a new place on the screen almost instantaneously. Look how fast I can move that mouse pointer around the screen. It's also good for precision movements. As long as that dot is within the circle, I can move my mouse pointer just by rotating my head to the left and right as well as up and down. Okay, so you can see how that works. Um, I haven't reviewed this. No one else that I've seen has reviewed this. So again, we don't know for sure if it's perfect, but I have used both of the individual pieces. I've used the eye tracker and um, I wasn't able to use it efficiently, um, but I, I was able to see that it was accurate besides the jitteriness of the eye. And I have been able to use the 
face tracking and I just feel like the two together would be a really excellent combo. Um, so I'll let you get back to the video now. Um, so when I was using the Toby eye tracker, um, something really interesting happened. It kind of flashes, it's, it's almost like a pulsing red light that gets shined at your eyes in order to track them. Um, it would kind of remind you of like a scanner when you're scanning barcodes at a store. And it felt uncomfortable to me. And I ended up getting a terrible, terrible migraine. I thought maybe it was just a coincidence. And so I, I waited a little bit and then I tried it again. I got another migraine. Um, everyone in my family that gets optical migraines like me, um, they can be triggered by flashing lights, right? Like the type that would trigger a seizure uh, for someone. And so honestly, I feel even worse because I want to use this so bad. And I know I can't. I, th I think it probably works absolutely great for other people. Of course, you are limited to that one monitor. And you've got to spend like $200 on the eye tracker. And, you know, maybe like 50 bucks on something to hear your voice. But even then, this, this seems like the ideal mouse. And I can't use it because of my migraines. So... That super sucks. Um, I did want to show this uh, video because I just want to let people know that that's out there. I just want to compile all the information I can about RSI solutions. And I don't know, how crazy is this? I'm going to keep watching this video. I don't know that there will be anything else worthy of watching, um, but we'll see. Okay, so the rest was just her coding, which doesn't interest me personally. If you are someone who wants to try to program by voice, there of course is going to be a link to her actual video. Um, I'm just going to show you kind of her success. She just made a very simple program, uh, and this is what it does. Command Sun. I think this might work. I did it! I actually did it. I'm I'm quite impressed. <laughs> okay, that was that was cool. Okay, so that was so great. I am so happy for her. Um, there's not enough women in STEM, and um, I don't remember what the statistic is, but women are much more likely to um, get RSI. Um, I've heard people hypothesize that it's because we have smaller wrists and therefore like smaller carpal tunnels and blah blah blah. Um, but like good for her. She is so awesome. Um, I don't know exactly how the eye tracker works, but, um, and I don't know that I'm going to try to find out because honestly, this is just so depressing that I can't use it. Um, but at least you guys know that that is an option for you and something you can look into. Um, hope this has been an interesting video. Um, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.